In this video, we'll see about the debugging in detail. Debugging is nothing but step-by-step -step execution of your statements. The alternative for debugging is directly executing the entire code. But at some time, if you want to see in detail what is the steps going on, what are the values and what is the output. So if you want to see, analyze every step, you can go for debugging. Let us see an example. So I'll just go to this developer tab. Remember the name of the file is Excel VBA building code and I'll go to this visual basic. In this place, the last module is n underscore debugging. In that, I've written some code here. Let us see what is the code. Define a sub procedure named as ABC. Declared three variables A, B, C, A, B and I. And value of assigned to variable B is equal to zero. For I equal to one to 10, I've added a for loop here and I'm doing some calculations. A equal to A plus I, B equal to B plus I and next and end sub procedure here i'll also define a equal to zero okay so if you observe here all three variables are declared here all three variables are assigned values for b and a here it is assigned for i it is assigned at this place and there will be some calculations done for the within the for loop okay so if i just click on this run button okay the form has been executed this uh, sub procedure has been executed but I didn't understand what exactly happened so if you want to execute that thing step by step you can use this step into that means using debugging so how do I get to know so if you see I have this locals window here the locals window if you don't have this locals window if I click on this place okay so you can bring this window from this place on the toolbar that's the toolbar here and this is the locals window. So if you click on this place, you will get this locals window. Now, what is the use of this local window? I'll show you here. But before that, I'll just show you here. I'll just keep my cursor at this place and I'll use this step into. The option is step into or you can use the shortcut key as F8. So once you press F8, it will execute step by step F8. And if you see here, the values, if you see here A, B and I, the values are given as empty, empty and zero. All three values are given as empty, empty and zero. Now, if you execute that, now if you see the value of A and B, they have given as zero. The value of A and B and zero. If I click on step into, now for I equal to step into, A equal to A plus I, see, observe the values of variables will change here. Variable, variable values will change. Again, step into, the value of B has changed and A has changed. Again, next. Now keep on observing, if you want to find out step by step for every iteration, what is the value, you can see from this locals window. Now if you observe, the value will keep on changing here. And finally, if you want, you can just click on this run button. So finally, everything will be executed. Everything will be executed at one go itself. But for step by step, remember, this is step into, the option is step into F8. Now, you got three variables in the locals and you can keep a track on that. Suppose you don't want to keep a track on all the three variables. You are interested only in one variable. So what you can do is you can use the method known as watch. You can keep a watch on some variable. So for that, what I can do is I'll just show you the window here. That's a window which is given as watch. This is the watch window, watch window. So if you click on this watch window, okay, this is the watch window, watches expression value and type which is given here. If you want to keep a watch, watch on any one variable, you can just select that variable like this. Okay. And then you can just right click on this place and you can see the option as add to watch. So once you click on this add to watch, okay, you'll get this dialog box and the details will be given. You just click on okay. So if you see B empty variable type. So when you execute this step by step, the value of B will be keep, kept a track. You'll be keeping a watch only on this variables. If you observe, step into step into you see the value of b only the value of b is kept in mind because sometimes the code is very large there are n number of variables you cannot keep a track on all the variables using this locals so at some point you need some personal window which will keep a track on your variables so if you see the value of b is getting changed here okay that is working fine so this is how you can keep on working i'll just click on run button so everything will be worked now this is by step by step into execution. At some point, if you want to keep a track, if there are 1000 lines of code and you want to keep a track at some particular line, what is the result at that particular line? So can you can use this breakpoint option. Breakpoint option, 
if you are executing the code and if you put a breakpoint at some point like this, if you just click on this place, a breakpoint will be inserted. Where you have to click? You have to click on a thin line left to the code which is written here. This is a breakpoint. So what will happen is if you execute your code, your code will come and stop at this particular location. I'll just show you here. Now the code has stopped here. If I click on this run button, if I click on this run button, it executed the yellow color marker. If you see, it has been stopped at this place. The reason is I have told him to stop. It's kind of a breaker or you can say as breakpoint. So if I click on this place, it will stop. Okay. Again, if I execute, you see the values are changing here. Again, if I click on run, so it will execute. It is very fast. You cannot see with this. Okay. And it will come and execute to the iteration part. You observe the values which are changing. This will be very fast to keep a track. Run button, run button, run and so on. So the values are changing here. Yeah, now the execution is done and everything is stopped here. So inserting a breakpoint is very simple. Just you have to click on this place using your mouse. If you want to remove a breakpoint, again click on the same dot itself. So that is inserting and removing a breakpoint. This is the shortcut method. The long cut method for using a breakpoint is like keep your cursor at this place and you can go to this debug and if you see there's an option given as toggle breakpoint. So if you click on this toggle breakpoint or if you press F9 from a keyboard like this, so a breakpoint will be inserted at this particular location. Again, if you want, you can just remove it. So breakpoint is used to stop your execution at particular line. So you can see what is the result, what is the result for different variables and you can see accordingly you can calculate and you can work on that particular thing. Right. So I hope you're able to understand about the debugging step into locals window. Then you have this watch window and the breakpoints. That's all for this video.